Hey, this is Dr. Jerry Williams with Urgent Care 24-7 here to talk to you about uh, a pretty rare problem that we see along the coast. We're going to talk about stingray stings. And you know, obviously our inland uh, friends uh, don't have to worry about that unless they're visiting along the coast. But we actually see this pretty commonly uh, here in Savannah, Georgia, uh, along the coast. Uh, injuries can happen inadvertently from people just walking in the uh, in the ocean or in the river in shallows uh, and they actually can step on uh, a stingray and get stuck in the foot or ankle. Uh, we also see injuries to the hands uh, from fishermen uh, who are trying to take the hook off of a, a stingray uh, out of a stingray's mouth when they've caught one. Uh, and so I want to talk to you about how we handle these kinds of uh, injuries because they're actually extremely important, all of them. So uh, first and foremost, uh, if a patient's stung by a stingray and they're showing any evidence of shock or an allergic type reaction, you need to dial 911. You need to get the patient in the emergency room as quickly as possible. Get them to medical care as quickly as possible. Now understand, if you have a uh, stingray sting to the torso, chest, neck, or head, uh, that's going to be uh, taking the emergency room for a stat CT scan of the area to determine the degree of injury because these are these could very well be life-threatening injuries. Um, so extremely important. But if it's on the uh, on the extremities, uh, still requires medical attention because these uh, puncture wounds are extremely prone to uh, infection. Number one, but also. The barb can actually break off, or pieces of the barb can break off in the wound, which obviously will cause an infection and a foreign body reaction that can be extremely severe. So it's very important that a stingray sting get evaluated by a medical professional as quickly as possible. Now, if uh, if you if you have a stingray sting and as you're trying to get to uh, medical care, uh, the patient can be in a lot of pain. An anti-inflammatory such as ibuprofen or naproxen sodium can be useful the appropriate dose uh, for the patient's uh, weight and uh, age. But also uh, immersing the, uh, the, the affected area in as hot a water as the patient can tolerate, which is typically from 103 to 113 degrees, but as hot as they can tolerate and soak it in that hot water as quickly as possible, that helps with the pain. And it's thought that that hot water helps denature the venom that's associated with the, uh, with the stain. And so uh, uh, hot water is very useful. Now, once you get to, the, to a medical provider, uh, the, uh, this is on the extremities, uh, they're going to uh, inject lidocaine uh, uh, around the wound. They're gonna inject it as much as they can get around that wound. Number one, it's gonna numb the area, but number two, it's felt that that helps uh, denature or uh, should I say neutralize the venom associated with the the barb and can be extremely uh, uh, soothing and, and helpful for the degree of pain. So the other thing that they're going to do is they're going to do an x-ray and they're going to make sure that there's not a retained piece of the barb, which can happen where it can actually break off in the, in the uh, wound uh, and make sure that there's not a, a, a foreign body in there from the barb. And then the other thing they're going to do is irrigate uh, the wound copiously and get it cleaned out very, very carefully and get you on a strong antibiotic. And these are injuries where, for example, a bacteria called Vibrio, which causes very, very severe infections, uh, is, is common. So they'll put you on a particular antibiotic to combat that particular kind of infection. So if you have or someone you know or love has had a, a stingray sting, it's extremely important that you follow these steps and get the patient to medical care as quickly as possible because again without treatment these wounds very very frequently have very very significant complications including infection and retained foreign body hey dr jerry williams here from urgent care 24 7 thanks for watching the video i hope you found it to be useful uh, if you could do me a favor, if you like the video, be sure to click on the like button. Also hit subscribe. And when you hit subscribe, click on the notifications and click the bell there. That way you'll be sure to be notified every time Urgent Care 24-7 and Affiliates releases a new video. And remember, life is 24-7 and so are we.